Okay, an object is thrown upwards. The graph shows the variation of time t uh, with time t of the velocity v of the object. Okay, and there is the graph. What is the total displacement at a time of 1.5 seconds measured from the point of release? And the object is thrown upwards. So the velocity will be reducing if it is thrown upwards. So definitely the velocity was 5 when it was thrown up. And when it reaches the uh, highest point, the velocity becomes 0. And after that, it starts falling downwards. And then immediately it rebounds. The possibility is that the body was gone up. It striked the bottom once again. And then it rebounded like this like this so at this point it has rebound and it moves up to 1.5 it again reaches the same height because the loss of the energy is not included here so we can say that body will rebound up to the same height up to the same level because the loss of energy has not taken place so now in this case this is a very beautiful question i would say because there is a very good concept involved in this the concept is the area of vt curve gives you the displacement but because the displacement and the velocity, they are vectors. So negative velocity will give you the negative area. So to find the total displacement, we will find the total area under the curve. And the total area under the curve, we need to first find this area. We need to find this area. And then we need to find this area. Simple. And that will be the displacement. Now the area of this triangle, that will be, let us say, area 1. It will be half into base that is 0 0.5 into height which is 5 and the area 2 will be again the same but this area this will be positive and this is going to be negative so when we add all these three terms these both of the areas will cancel each other okay so this area and this area they cancel each other because when we add them it adds up like that only so we are left only with the third term so A3 will be positive. It will be half into base into height. So this is coming out to be 5 by 4, which is 1.25 meter. 1.25 meters. So our answer is B. I hope you understand. Our total displacement, it will be given by... area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 both of these areas cancel each other out it will be remaining only that is a3 okay then all the best bye